Hey guys, and today I'm going to teach you 5 tips to get sub 20. Okay, so I decided to do this video because I did recently hit sub 20. It was like maybe a couple weeks ago, but I didn't really show it that much. Um, but yeah, let's get on with the tips. Okay, tip number 1. Advanced cross. So, if you were regularly doing this, you would have to go, let's say this is your scramble. Okay, one's in place, you'd have to go... Da -da 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 -da. That was pretty easy. But an easier way to do that, I don't remember what I did, but uh, advanced cross is basically where... Okay, I need to do this. Okay, advanced cross is where you basically put pieces in where they're not supposed to go, but in the end it ends up like this. So it would be like this. You could just do a couple of moves and fix that. So it's important. I mean, you don't have to, but I highly recommend it. Okay, next is F2L. So for the F2L stage... You kind of, it's kind of hard to explain, but you need to do it from all angles. So if I had this, I would just insert that. Um, if I had this pair, I would be very inefficient and do this, but that's just me. And then, yeah. So you need to have um, pairs. Uh, you need F2L, by the way. So you need pairs that can easily be put in uh, and from either side. Also, one more thing. You don't have to learn algorithms. I don't even use algorithms for mine. And it's, yeah. It, it's good to learn algorithms for some case cases but you know you don't need them okay now number three is you need to actually know how to do the f2l stage efficiently so you okay i'm going to show you an, a bad example of a solve Okay, now let me tell you how inefficient that is. People try to turn as fast as they can, and it doesn't work, okay? It doesn't work. So instead of turning as fast as you can and trying to murder the cube, you want to be very efficient. So you want to start out slow like this, doing slow solves. Slow F2L pairs. Very good look ahead. Like this, and then once you get to OLL and PLL, you can do regular. But for those cases, um... You want to go as slow as you can, try to look around the cube, and eventually you'll get fast. I promise you. That's how you have to get your F2 all good. Okay, number four. So, I just did a random scramble, but number four is definitely your uh, OLL and PLL. Now, you don't, you don't need to be like full PLL, full OLL. No, that doesn't... You can, but you don't have to. You need to know at least two looks. So, two look is when you either have this or... Uh... You either have a line or you either have a dot. And you need to know how to get that into the cross stage. Then you need to know, so two look, so you know, two look. And then, okay, that's easy case. But you need to know at least uh, two look a PLL as well. I use one to two look PLL. It depends uh, what day. But, see, as you can see, you know at least two look. And, yeah, so you don't need to learn anything too harshly. Okay, the last step. Uh, this is one of the hardest steps for me, and it was to be patient and practice, okay? So, it's because you don't get fast in one night, right? You have to practice, you know? You gotta learn how to do it very efficiently, and uh, you gotta practice your OLLs and PLLs, and, uh, I mean, eventually you're gonna get fast. But it took a while for me. I kept getting mad at myself. It just didn't really work out. But now that I am, you, you have to be patient. You gotta practice and be patient. That's all you gotta do. And, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed those five tips to get sub, to help you get sub 20. Tell me in the comments if these tip, tips help you, help you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!